there's people in your life that think differently than you do about science, which is probably true for most of us, that the way in which I have found to make the most headway, and I kind of have referred to this, but I would like to emphasize it more, is I often start these conversations from empathy and curiosity. So if somebody tells me that they're worried about vaccinating their kid, I don't immediately say, why would you do that? The data shows it's safe because that can kind of put up a wall. Instead, oftentimes I'm like, oh, I, I get it's hard being a parent right now. Can you tell me what you're worried about? Mm -hmm. Or can you tell me why you're worried? Or can you tell me what have you heard? And I ask a lot of questions because that helps me start to see what's going on behind their in their head and how can I present or give them information that might be in a way that is usable for them. So a lot of times if I'm talking to a mother or a parent, that's a really big part of their identity, but also a big part of my identity. Mm -hmm. So I can connect with them on that level and frame the information that I'm giving them through that lens of information. And I have found that's where I make the biggest headway is really trying to affirm somebody's identity.